Okay, now let us do problems from uh, previous year's questions. Uh, chapter wave top uh, wave optics, and let me do the first question. A. So if two one of the two identical slits producing interference pattern is covered with glass, so that the light intensity passing through it is reduced to fifty percent. Find the ratio of the maximum intensity and the minimum intensity of the fringes. In the interference pattern, they are asking ratio of maximum and minimum intensity. So they are asking only this um, question number one a. They are asking intensity maximum divided by intensity minimum. This is what they are asking. So the formula for this is a one plus a two the whole square. A one plus A two the whole square divided by A one minus A two the whole square. Okay, A one A two are the amplitudes of the two interfering waves. So in Young's double slit experiment, we have two slits S one S two, and then we have a screen at some distance capital D, and a ray wave from here and here. Superimpose at this point, producing bright and dark bands depending upon the path difference. The initial intensity let uh, the intensity initial intensity of this is I naught, and also this intensity is also I naught. But uh, according to the question, we are keeping on glass plate here because of this. This intensity is reduced to fifty percent of its initial value, which means now the intensity now it becomes. I not by two. So, and also we know that intensity is directly proportional to amplitude square. So I one is proportional to A one square, and A one is proportional to root I one. So wherever I have A one, I can put root I one. Therefore, in this formula, I maximum. Divided by I minimum will be root I one plus root I two by the whole square by root I one minus root I two the whole square. So now we substitute for I one. The initial intensity is I naught. Plus now I two becomes I naught by two, the whole square. And in this case, this is I naught minus uh, root I naught by two, the whole square. So now we can take this root I naught outside, so it will become I naught one plus. One by root two in the numerator and in the denominator, I naught one minus one by root two, the whole square. This I naught and this I naught is cancelled, and then uh, and then we have to take LCM for this. So let us take LCM for this. So what we get is um, so this will now become row two plus one, the whole square divided by two, and then divided by. Root two minus one, the whole square by two. This two and this two will be cancelled. Now this is a plus b whole square. A square plus two ab plus b square by a square. This root two whole square will be two a square minus two ab plus b square 
So this will be three plus two root two. This will be three minus two root two. So intensity maximum by intensity minimum will be three plus two root two by three minus two root two. Now I'm just taking the conjugate. Three plus two root two by three plus two root two. And then now this will become three plus two root two the whole square. But this is a minus b a plus b. So a square minus b square. So when you expand this again in a plus b whole square formula, a square plus two into a into b. plus b square by this is nine minus h. So this is nine plus two threes are six, six so are 12 root two plus eight by one. So the answer is 17 plus 12 root two. This is the answer. Okay, and uh, now let us do second question. Uh, question number one B, what kind of fringes do we expect to observe if white light is used instead of monochromatic light? So if I use white light instead of monochromatic light in the Young's uh, double slit experiment, so what will happen? So we take uh, white light. So this is my source and then light is coming out of the source. I have two slits here and then I have a screen. So when I use white light, what will happen is all the fringes I'm getting here will be colored the central bright fringe will be white in color. And the next fringe will be blue in color. Since the wavelength is less, the next one will be blue in color. And the last will be red in color. So the fringes, the fringe which is, which is farthest from the central bright fringe will be red in color. And also uh, the fringe with formula is Lambda D by D, so this is beta, okay? And uh, the beta is directly proportional to lambda. Therefore, the wavelength of red is always greater than wavelength of blue. And therefore the fringe width of red is also will be greater than fringe width of blue, which means in the interference pattern, the red fringe will be having, it will be bigger than the uh, blue fringe, it's broader. So this red fringe will be broader than any other fringe in that interference pattern. So when we replace monochromatic light, so what is the answer? When we replace monochromatic light with the white light, you will get colored fringes. Central fringe will be white in color. The next, the, the neighboring fringe will be blue in color and the farthest fringe will be uh, red in color. And then beta is directly proportional to lambda. Beta is the fringe width. As the wavelength is uh, for red is greater than wavelength of blue, uh, the red color will be broader than the blue color. And also after few, few fringes, no uh, clear fringe pattern will be visible. 